Hello guys, it's Flux Renegizer again and today I have a new circuit uh, it's a circuit I changed, I found it on overunity.com and it's a design of coolers but I changed it a little bit uh, for my needs I hope you can see the circuit diagram if it goes too fast then uh, you can pause, uh, pause the video so you can uh, copy it. Uh, anyway, this circuit it's once again a bit messy. Uh, this is the driving battery. It's a, uh, a pen light size AA battery only it's not 1.2 volts but 3.6. I don't know if you can see it. I will try to zoom in. There it is. 3.6 volts rechargeable battery. Well, uh, from this battery we go through some beats uh, onto the circuit board. This is my coil. It's a coil with a secondary. It's a 10 turn base, 20 turn uh, collector and approximately 80 turns on the secondary. And here are my two uh triple a batteries there are they're non rechargeable but nevertheless my re remote control batteries were were dead so i think what the heck let's use them okay let's turn on the meter the meter is measuring the two uh triple a batteries and it's measuring now they're quite empty 1.632 volts okay and let's turn on the circuit and let's see how fast it charges. Now you can see the batteries are taking uh, the charge. They're charging uh, quite well. But uh, the nice part here is uh, I can charge and of course the 3.6 volt drain battery, this one over here, will eventually drain out. So. Uh, the nice part cooler uh, found out is that you can feed back from the collector side uh, feed back to source so I tried it and it works quite well uh, my feedback to source is let's see the switch here it's now not connected but when I connect it really does take uh, back the charge and still charging the two one and a half volt batteries in series but it doesn't charge as fast when we flip the switch as you can see now I've flipped the switch to feedback to source and it will slowly go down but still is higher than where we started so it does work you see it will settle down a bit now I will turn off the feedback to source and immediately the batteries will gain in voltage. Well, I thought it was a, a nice approach of the dual chief circuit so I thought I will make a video. Of course I will experiment more with this uh, with this circuit with the feedback to source. Uh, one thing I found uh, what is very handy are the two ferret beads in uh, in front of the circuit they will filter out the, the wrinkle uh, which is uh, created by the feedback uh, from the dual teeth so to erase that I used two ferret beads well I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it please rate it and uh, I will post uh, the schematic also on overunity.com in the duty thread so see you later have a nice day bye bye